Oh Jesus. Hi guys. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be reacting to coding and software engineering TikToks. So yeah, I have not created a long form video in so long, but I'm so excited to get back at it. I was resting after doing so many technical interviews. I had to get myself together, but she back and she better. <laughs> I used to think all programmers were nerds until I saw how much entry level software engineers earn straight out of an undergraduate math, computer science, or engineering program. Then I decided to become a programmer myself. And then I lost all my social skills. And that's why I used to think all programmers <laughs> that's were nerds until I saw how much entry level software engineers I mean, let them know though, though. let them know. Computer science or engineering program. Then I decided- So they make a joke that like software engineers don't know how to communicate and stuff like that because they're so into coding. But I loved how he showed how much you can make, you know, from getting into software engineering, just because you can make some money, you know? I mean, I'm also, you have to also think about like where you are in the world because I know like in like California and New York like you make more than the other states and even compared to like other countries as well like people in the United States like make a lot from being a software engineer but yeah the money is there boy that was a great one so let's see what he made. So there's this trend where people program their lights to turn on and off and they gain a new follower on TikTok. I already did the light part. That was easy. But now I spent all day coding it for this shot caller. No. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. So there's oh. this trend where people program their lights to turn on and off. Matt, <laughs> he is so creative. Like That is insane. Oh my goodness. Let's do you. You look very serious. Public service announcement, ladies. If you don't know what you're doing with your life, go into computer science. This is for my college students out there who don't know what they're doing. I was that person. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. But then I found out how much computer science people get paid for doing four years of schooling. Hint, hint, it's a lot. <laughs> for my straight ladies out there, you're surrounded by men on the daily. And if you think the stereotype of the programmer is smelly and hairy and whatever, you're wrong. You're wrong. They are hot. They're also making six figures. <laughs> they know how to take care of their hair. They wear nice clothes. They have really good cologne. And really, above all else, you look like a boss. Hey. So get that degree. Get that money. Travel the world. Get a cute dog. Live happily ever after. <laughs> Public service announcement, ladies, if you don't know what you're doing with your life. You know, I did not know what I was doing either with my life. I mean, it was just because I had so many different passions. I didn't know what I wanted to choose. So I just had, it really was fate, y'all, that I just chose computer science. One of the best choices I have made so far in my life was computer science. So she said some good things in there. You know, some of it was wild, but she said some good things. <laughs> Let's you, let's do you. Let's do the resume too. This is the resume that got me a 7K per month internship at Google. Here are my tips to creating a resume, part one. So the first thing you need to keep in mind is that recruiters only have about six to 10 seconds to look at your resume, so make sure to keep it one page. Also, make sure to bold specific programming languages and technologies that you use so your recruiter can easily identify them. You don't need to put your GPA and your education section, but make sure to have good side projects to make up for it. Follow me for resume tips, part two. This is the resume that got me a That second. was really, sorry I'm loud just because that was loud. Well, I have my volume up. But those were some really great tips. Like, I have a resume video. <laughs> Make sure to go check it out. And I actually agree with like bolding things on your resume, like specific languages or, you know, phrases that you really want the recruiter to see. I found that to be really helpful as well. And then, yeah, I did not have the GPA on my resume. No, I did not. <laughs> but I still got, you know, to interview with a lot of great companies and different companies. So if your GPA is bad, it is totally okay. Definitely include projects. I love how he had a skill section. Fantastic video. See, you can learn from TikTok. You can learn from TikTok. That was really great. I love that. Let's do this one. The laugh makes it a thousand times better. But yeah, that's funny. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, the intern wearing the crown. <laughs> oh, that's so funny and so true. <laughs> oh, Jesus. My manager who looks like. Oh, I love this. Oh, I want to look at more of hers. Let's see this. Ooh, let's see this one. I've been waiting for this one. Turn it up. Yes. It happens to me all the time. Like, my mom still does not know what I do. And she'll have trouble with her computer and be like, hey, can you fix this? And I'm like... Girl, mother, that's not what I do. <laughs> yeah, if you're into, like, if you study computer science or you're into coding, at least I never took a class on, like, how to fix computers. I feel like that's a common misconception about it. Like, if I'm going to fix a computer, I'm just going to Google it, just like you, mom, okay? <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm. It's the remix. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Stack Overflow is like a really popular site that software engineers, programmers that we all use. So basically, if you have a question, maybe something's not working in your code or you want to see another way to do something, you go to Stack Overflow. So we copy code from Stack Overflow all the time. If someone said they don't, they lying. And yeah, she is hilarious. <laughs> no, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. I make math jokes. Yes. So basically, <laughs> this is so nerdy. I love it. So there's different ways you can like format your code. And there's always this debate that people love to talk about of like using a tab to indent your code or using like the space bar. So I'm a tabs girl, but oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, let's do her. I know her. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> you know, I be doing that sometimes, yo. Like, you change nothing about your code. Nothing. But you still press that run button to see if something's different, even though nothing different. <laughs> but you just having hope. Yeah, that's super cute. Ha, ah, that's me. <laughs> Should we watch my video? <laughs> Let's go. Learn to code with me. This is a list. This list has three emojis inside of it. Boom, boom, boom. We know this is a list because the emojis are surrounded with square brackets. We separate each item in the list with a comma. Learn to code with me. Ah. This is a list. <laughs> oh, this gosh. List yes. Has three emojis inside of it. Learn to code with me this we summer. That was super fun. Yeah, I like teaching like, you know, like coding and all that stuff. That's what I do with mine. But, you know, I'm going to branch out. Like, I'm still going to teach Python on TikTok, but I think I'm going to, you know, try to do some funny ones. Because you see, all these are funny. The minds are just like, learn this. <laughs> so, let's, uh, we'll see. Oh, we got a model out here. Oh my goodness, I be feeling that, yo. <laughs> when your code works on the first try, that feeling, yo. You really be feeling like you out here. <laughs> oh, I loved that. It's always the new engineer. Let's see. If I can reuse code, I'm reusing code. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel unless there's a good reason to. Top tips on how to learn how to code from a professional software engineer. Come on, Tip girl. number one. Go online and search Harvard CS50. It's an intro to CS program that's completely free, and it's basically the same class that all CS students have to take across the board. Tip number two, make sure you are focused on project-based learning. You don't want to just mindlessly follow tutorials. You want to build something. 
like and follow for more tips. Top tips on how to I love it. Life by Sophie. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and I will see you in the next video.